On Astrobiology magazine, Aaron asked, until they were discovered in Pavilion Lake, such formations were relatively unknown in freshwater lakes. What other freshwater lakes have been found, have these been found in, and are the scientists actively looking for similar lakes around the world that might have these microbial -like structures? We've seen structures like these in various parts of the world for a while now. What's really special about Pavilion Lake is that we actually have a lot of different morphologies of these microbialite structures within the lake. And that's pretty unique from what we've seen around the world. There's actually a place in southern Chile, Lago Sarmiento, where we see large similar structures, again, carbonate formations that were formed probably by um, microbes building them in some precipitation. And then there are also lakes which are quite different. So, for example, Mono Lake in uh, Nevada and also uh, there's a lake in Turkey where you have a lot more of a chemical precipitation. So we do know of a bunch of freshwater examples that span the range of chemical to more biological formation. Um, it's actually very difficult to search for lakes like these because we don't really understand the conditions required to form these sorts of structures. So a lot of it is somebody seeing something cool and saying, hey, I found something really neat, and the scientist seeing it, and that's how a lot of the exploration gets started, and that's actually how we got started at Pavilion Lake.